Yeah, YouTube is due to those days and bring you a deck profile on Laval's Quasar. So let's get to the deck profile. There is a side deck for this, but it's not nothing really good. So yeah. A Lance Ward, a Dark Hole, two low eater, um, for reducing levels. A boost, a lava blaster, basically like a ice worm of the deck, lava burner. Face like a uh, cyber dragon, and actually can here with two ways in the light. And you guys don't know what this does. It's probably good against Stellar Knights and just and um, Ice Worms because you select one face up light monster you controls, all face up attack position monsters you control gain attack equal to the combined equal to the attack of the selected monsters, selected monster to the end face. So let's say they have a you're pointing against white swarms and they have a JD on, on the field. You select JD and all your monsters gain 3,000 attack points. So pretty cool. Um, yeah, I just found out around way in my room if I would be a pretty cool card. Oops. Two defenders intersect. This card's actually pretty good. It's not too bad. It'd probably be good against the dolls. Because activate or during the battle phase, the fence position monster you should control controls are changed to face up attack, and their effects are negated. So you use this against your dolls. You activate it, all they all go up to a face up attack, and their effects can't, and their full effects can't activate. To return, these this will be good against any kind of deck. As when your opponent adds a card or cards from the graveyard to their hand, they must shuffle one of those card cards into the deck. And then finally, I'm Air Force. Sorry about that, guys. I was going through over, over these other side deck cards I was trying to choose from. Um, so, yeah, let's get to the main deck. Let's start with the monsters, I guess. So, you got free level cannon. This is basically a DDR to deck. Um, target one of your advantage of walls and um, levels and bring it back to the field. Two caner. Free fire dog, because basically everything in here has 200 or less defense. Free handmaiden, the main tuner. Free like side lady. This card's pretty good, it's basically like an MST and it could target set mo set monsters or set back row because it says any set card to boost war you guys know what this does if you control a face up to your monster you can special summon this card from your hand so not too bad one blaster because everybody here is fire one pyrex and fine for the last three monsters free switch get crow to stall for a little bit just in case the fanes don't go the right way Yeah, I've been using this deck on DM. We guys don't remember that deck profile. I this was basically a build off of Cure Toy 2. So I really like this build, but the way I changed it up a little bit. Come on guys, I'm gonna take something out from the extra deck. Okay, so now for the spells. You got free conduction field. 
the main spell of the deck to get all balls, all balls in your grave, and so you can start gaining off those amazing plays. This isn't a common by the way, it's a DT. One soul charge, every kindling, these both are the monsters reborn to the deck. Um, Rageki, the main spell in basically every deck now. <laughs> Ever since it came back, everyone's like, oh, screw Dark Hole, we're playing around Gekki now. One Rota. Rota is basically a target for Laval Cannon and Boost Warrior, because they're both Warriors. Now, when I saw Kirito with deck profile, I found it's very interesting, both tech and two scapegoat. Um, like I said, I've been testing it out and doing that work, it's pretty good. Um, I really like that scapegoat's in here. It basically helps stalls and, and corner you can use them for synchro summons, so yeah. Uh, and finally free MST. There I might actually take two out and replace them with two D prison. So yeah. Ah, uh, sorry guys. And now for the traps. Two flammable counter. This was a little tech card that Kira Twig did as well. Um, I found it pretty interesting because remove from play when a spell of track card is activated. Banish one fire monster for 200 defense from grave. Negate the activation and do destroy it. So if you have a bubble can in your hand and you have another lava monster in your graveyard. You could banish it, then next turn you can summon out your lava cannon and bring back that lava. Free threatening war. A mirror force, because I need to find all the other traps. A torrential, a compulse, and a bottomless trap. Hole. And the only thing the extra deck is missing is XT monsters, because there's two rank 4 XCs, and the main ones are a bit too expensive, so I might just, you know, add in a little something, but the entire extra deck is just all synchros. So here we go. Along with Dewey's Washer, um, this card is a rekindling target, because it has 200 defense. A Wobble Dragon is very good, because it, um, basically like a Gainzine Path, because you can shovel two of all monsters into your grave. Uh, but you could return one card your opponent controls to your hand. Lava Dragon is basically like a Rota. You can add one lava and send one lava. While Stenon, Stenon, it is card one card, and during Apoy's turn, when a uh, card is activated that targets this card, you can get it and destroy it. Frame of Requises, Librarian, Armades, Goyal Guardian, Black Rose, Armory Arm. Stardust, two Formula Synchron, this one's German. Well, that's not Formula Synchron. Uh, and Shooting Star Dragon, and Final Poison. So, yeah, guys, that's basically the entire deck. I actually really like it. Um, it's not too bad. I just have to start testing it in real life. May, maybe I'll start testing it at local smart on Sunday. I always want to go to my friend Corey's house. He's a Yuki offender. Because he hosts his tournaments at his place, and but now I can't because I have to babysit tomorrow, which sucks. So yeah, guys, hope you like this deck profile. Um, I really like this deck; it's so much fun. Um, like I'm playing at doing that work; it's awesome to play with. So feel free to test it out if you guys want to. Um, like I said, this deck was inspired by and originally created by Kira Twig Two. Um, but I just did some of my own features because I made everything in here synchros and I took, I, I did a couple of my own stuff. So yeah, remember to like and subscribe to this YouTube video, we'll say, sign off.